This is Oliver from Realize Marketing. Today's video is about backing up your data. With more and more people working from home, making sure you have a good backup protocol is crucial to not losing important work-related data, but what you're going to learn today will cover personal files like images as well. Now, for ease of use and practicality, we're going to go over two free methods to back up the files on your PC running Windows 10. Both methods are very similar if you're running Windows 7 or earlier versions of Windows. For both methods, we recommend using an external hard drive, even if you have multiple drives on your machine. Using an external hard drive will mean your data is isolated from issues occurring on your computer, which may be the reason you need the backup in the first place. I'll be including links in the description of this video to the official guides for each method. The first method is the default backup and restore in Windows 10. This is as easy as it gets. You just click on the Windows icon in the bottom of your screen, then click on the settings cog wheel. And I'll bring up this window here. Then you just want to click on update and security and then click on backup from the left hand menu. Once you've got the backup window open, you just click, uh, make sure you have an external hard drive connected. Click on add drive. A window will pop up confirming the drive. And then here you're automatically done and ready to back up your files. Your backups will run on an hourly basis. You can click here for more options. And here you can see you can back up your files every hour by default or change it to daily. And I recommend keeping your backups for forever. You can also go back here and choose different folders that you want to back up or exclude folders that you don't want to back up. You can also stop using this drive uh, to completely stop the backup or before you add a different drive for your backups. And that's it. You are now having your backup done every day or hourly or whatever time you choose and you know that your data is safe with a secondary backup. The second method uses a free third-party software called Free File Sync. Now, as with all third-party software in our videos, use this at your own risk, but this is the backup method I use most often, and I've set this software up on multiple family members and clients' machines, so I personally trust it completely. This method differs from the default Windows backup in the sense that you run it manually and you can more easily isolate your most important files. So say for example, you have your personal computer, you're working from home, but you're, you have work items on there as well and you want to back those up separately, right? The main Windows backup lumps everything together, but this you can then isolate which backups you want to run. And so you would just go to freefilesync.org then click on the download button, scroll down a little bit, and you'll have the different download links for the version you're running. Most of you are going to be downloading on Windows. You would just click here. It'll download the setup file. You then run that file and just follow along with all the prompts. As of always, read everything before you click Next, but it's pretty straightforward. Then once you've got it installed and you open it, it'll look like this. Now, I've got the last backup that I ran, and... Trust me, it's been more recent than this. This is just the name of the folder here. And so let's actually browse here. And let's just say I want to only back up my Adobe videos, right? I'm going to select that folder. Then I'm going to go to my backup folder. I'm either going to create the video, I mean the folder that I want to back up, or if it's already existing in my external drive, I'm just going to click on the same folder. And then what's great about this is normally if you, you know, just drag your files over manually to an external hard drive, it's going to try to overwrite everything that's already there, right? And so it's going to take the first, the same amount of time, probably even longer, the next times you do your backup versus that just initial time. Where with this software, you can actually compare the file in size. And it will give you a list of when things changed. Now, there's nothing in this folder, really. But it would give you a list of when things changed. And then you would only synchronize what you need to. And boom, it's done. Now, it was an empty folder, so that's why it went so quickly. But if this had things in it, it would show you what it's backing up. It would only back up the new or changed items, saving you a lot of time in the long run. 
Now this free file sync also offers real time file sync and that's very similar to the default Windows one that I showed you earlier in this video and if you're going to do that route I recommend using that and using this for the segmented or isolated backups uh, i.e. to separate your work data from your personal data or to keep multiple granular backups of the data that's most important to you. Now with all backups, we generally recommend using the 321 rule, meaning you should have three total versions of your data, two of them local, which is what we just did here, and then one of them off-site, either at a data center or on the cloud. Uh, Google Drive is great for this. Microsoft also has inherent products in this. I'll try to link some more uh, in the description of this video. I'll also be linking in the description of this video uh, some of the hard hard drives that I use, the external hard drives I've used that have lasted me for years uh, and are still ticking, uh, but I'm still probably going to be getting some new ones from the list I'll be posting below. Well, there you have it. There's two methods to do a full backup of all your files, one me another method to do just a granular or isolated backup of your most important files to make sure that all your data is secure, with, especially with all of us working from home or a lot of us working from home these days. If you have any questions, just put them in the, uh, in the comment box below. And of course, please subscribe and then follow us so you can get more updates. We're going to be running a lot more videos on really how to succeed working from home or how to succeed in this new environment for anybody running a business already, especially if it's a brick and mortar business, how to adapt to that and how to really overcome the challenges that have come up with this pandemic. Thank you very much for watching. Again, this is Oliver from Realize Marketing and I'll see you in the next video.